Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm at Virginia Water Station today. It's Easter Sunday 2023 and the reason I've come here is to do something I think you can only do here at this railway station just for a few weekends. We're going to get on a train at Virginia Water and the next stop is going to be Virginia Water. The reason for this is there's some engineering work so we're on the line that's looking towards Reading. My train will soon arrive from Reading and it's going to Weybridge. Now what will happen? The train will pass through the station towards London, but that's where the engineering works are. So it's going to reverse, and then you've got these platforms over here. That's on the line that goes down through Chertsey, Adelston, and to Weybridge. You can also get to Woking, but not that many passenger trains go there. Although quite often steam charter trains go that way if they're going down to Weymouth or Salisbury. So the train will stop here. It's going to go up there, and it's going to reverse. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it out, but it says the 10.35 to Weybridge. It says the next stop is Virginia Water. So it seems very funny to see, to be at Virginia Water and be told that your next station is Virginia Water. And just saying there's a train coming in, not in use on Platform 2. There was an empty train sat here when I arrived at the station. It's, that went up to the signal, that's pulling in, so that's just but an empty stock. To depart from the station forecourt. Oh, and there's railway replacement the buses over there. Southwest See where it's going to. Service to Helmslow, calling at Egham, Staines, Ashford, Surrey, Felton, and Helmslow. So that's your way to London if you want to go the direct route. But I'm just catching the train over to Weybridge. So here comes this empty stock movement, a class 485. Interestingly, there actually used to be a triangle over there. there I don't think there was any ever any platforms on it, but had that triangle still been here? Our train, which is pulling in now, it may have skipped out Virginia Water altogether, but it would have it wouldn't have had to have done this reverse. So here it comes, class 450, 450 number 32, two of them, so we'll see what the other one is. So I'm gonna get on, and it takes about 15 minutes, I think. Well, it's it's due to leave here at 10.35, and I think it's 10.47 it calls a Virginia Water the second time. So, let's get on the train. It's not too busy today. I'm trying to find a nice, quietish carriage. The other one, other unit is number 10. So we'll go and have a look, see what we can find. And we're going to do this uh, unusual journey. Like I said, we're at Virginia Water and the next stop is Virginia Water. Let's find somewhere where it's a bit quieter here will do. So I'm just going to sit down now and wait and see the train depart now. As for trains calling at the same station on the journey, that's not entirely unique. An example of that being if you have to get on the circle line, if you do the whole circle line, you get on at Hammersmith, you'll pass through Edgeware Road, you'll go right around the circle and then the train terminates at Edgeware Road. So it's not unique that trains call at the same station on their journey, but to call at the same station in succession as far as I'm concerned, that is unique. If you do know of anywhere else this happens, okay, it happens on miniature railways, uh, where you know you get on the train, goes around and comes back to the same station. Some heritage railways, an example being like, say, the Chinna Prince Risborough, if all extended to Prince Risborough, you get on the train, Chinna, you go up and down, and the next station would be Chinna. But for an actual network rail passenger train to call at the same station twice in succession, I think this is unique. If you can think of anywhere else this has ever happened, please do tell me, but I'm fairly sure this doesn't happen anywhere else. So I'm just going to sit here now and wait for the departure. So here we are, we're departing Virginia Water. There's not a lot to see on that side, that train's blocking the view, so we'll sit here, we'll see the journey out the station. Virginia Water is actually one of those clasp stations. There's a few of, a lot of them have been demolished, but you can see it's a fairly sort of basic concrete structure that was became quite common in the 60s right now. That's where we're going to go in a minute. So we, we've departed Virginia Water towards London. As I said, we're not actually going to London. We're going to Weybridge. So at the moment we're on the up line. That's the down line next to me there. There's a posh housing estate in there. I don't know if we're going to see it. There's a, a tower um, beyond these houses and that was built purely just to be seen by travellers from the railway, I believe. But there it is there. The, the, the light's not helping. But I believe that was built by Thomas Holloway, of course, not far from here is Royal Holloway University. So, we're now, I think it's down a bit of a hill to here. You can see there was once a siding there, and the sidings are usually level. 
I came here last year, December last year, so Nigel Gresley passed through. If you want to see that, have a look at the screen now. So Nigel has really stormed through this station because he climbed up the bank. Yeah, so that is a siding, and that it's hard to see here, but the siding will be level, the line drops down. So at this point, we've now stopped here. The driver is going to have to walk to the other end of the train, so he or she will, I expect they'll walk through the train. I doubt they're going to put a high vis on and go onto the track, but keep a look out. So there's no trains running on that train, maybe the old engineering train. So as the bus was going to Hounslow, so basically that, that line's out of action, the Windsor line is out of action. When you get to Hounslow, you'd be able to catch a train into London, or you could alternatively go the way I'm going, via Weybridge, where you'd be able to change trains and travel up to London that way. I think we're booked to sit here for quite a while, so um, I'm just gonna sit and look out at that housing estate, because it's probably about the only time I'm ever gonna sit on the train here for any amount of time, and then soon we'll continue on back towards Virginia Water. The driver just walked through the train, so he's now down that end. There's a few confused passengers, not quite sure what's going on, and wondering why we're stopping at Virginia Water twice. I've sort of, sort of saw a few people talk about what's going on. Anyway, so we, we're going to wait now. We're going to go that way. I suppose we've got to wait for signal. Although I can't see there's much to wait for, because you can only really have one train in here at a time. So if we don't go, nothing can. you can't do the same manoeuvre in the opposite direction, because you can't use the track there. You can't use the down line to do this manoeuvre. It's the way the points are set, so we've just got to wait to, to go back the other way. As I was saying, I think it is unique, like hearing, calling it Virginia Water, Virginia Water, Jersey, to hear the same station twice. And when you, people are on the train, if you had got on at Reading or Ascot or wherever, you'd have heard that we're going to call it Virginia Water twice. The other thing I think is quite funny is that um, some people insist on facing forwards. Maybe they don't feel 100% if they're going backwards. So it's going to confuse a few people in a minute. Anyone who, I mean, they're not going to have much problem with moving seats because you can see there's not many others, about two other people in this carriage. I was at Ely the other day and um, I, I was on the train and they reversed. The train was going from Norwich to Liverpool. I was heading towards Peterborough and there was a table and two ladies got on and they sat down and they said, I cannot stand travelling backwards on a train. And I said to them, well, you need to sit the other way. They never said, no, but the train's coming this way. I said, yeah, it came in that way, it reverses. So trains do reverse on their journey. That, that's not unusual and that confuses people who don't like going backwards. Another example is if you were to take a train up from Norwich to Sheringham, you'll reverse at Cromer. So we're going to reverse in a moment or go forward towards Virginia Water for the second time today. So, we're moving, we're heading back towards Virginia Water. I was just thinking as we sat here, I wonder what would happen if you turned up at the ticket office and said, can I buy a return, or even a single, to Virginia Water? You know, you just wanted to get on the train and do this journey. I somehow don't think that ticket exists, but I wonder what they'd say. They'd either say no, or they'd say, I don't know, would they just say go and have the ride because you're not actually going anywhere, so you don't need to pay? Maybe, I don't know, do they sell platform tickets? Virginia Water has now got ticket barriers. I've never bought a platform ticket at Virginia Water. Whenever I've come here, I've either been traveling or, um, or I just ask the staff nicely and usually let me on. So we've just done this crossover. So that's a rare bit of track for any track bashers. It's a rare bit of track. And we're now coming back into the station. So that's the line we were on a moment ago. And then we'll, we're gonna turn left in a second into Virginia Water and call here for a second time. I can think of another similar example. When I was little once, we went on a train up to Scotland and the train passed through Doncaster on the fast line then reversed into the platform. So it passed through the station and then stopped, so, but it didn't call at it twice. There is a view of the station. The, the light is not helping. And um, there's the new station footbridge. It used to be an old footbridge across there. That train, yeah, still sat there. So that one that came in empty stopped, looks like it's now forming trains reading. Interestingly, most people, seems to be a lot of people or a fair few people getting on there. So whether they've all just arrived, they might have just come off a bus thinking about it, say from Egham or somewhere, or did they just all choose to get on the train the second time it called here? I'm not too sure. So we're now on that very sharp curve where the line turns off. So as I said, it's like a, a V-shaped station, Virginia Water. The one thing I'm gonna try and show you, now I don't know how well it's gonna work, um, is the old side of the triangle, because there's a bridge. So if you drive along the road that passes Good under... Good morning, we are now at Virginia Water. This train is for Weybridge, calling at Chertsey, Adderstone and Weybridge, where we are scheduled to arrive at 11 or 3. We will be departing 
We station at 10.49. Next stop in service is Chertsey. So when we depart, we will see that. So it's interesting, there was no announcement until we arrived here. And I've just seen there's quite a few people who have got off here. So some people who, and I'm going to do this later on, some people who have come from Reading Ascot direction seem to have stayed on the train for the extra time on the train. Now when I come back here, I'm not going to get off where it be on that side. I could get off there, but I'm not going to do the, do the ride, just, you know, because it's novel and you can, and it's unusual. You don't normally get to do, you know, these things. This is just what I like. So it's about five minutes now till the train goes, so I'm going to sit here, wait to go, and when we go, I'll try and point out the bridge on that triangle. Oh, here we go, we're now departing Virginia Water, so we're going to try and see that bridge. I appreciate the sun's messing us about a bit, but let's try and spot the third side, former third side of the triangle. So there's a road in a minute, so that's all sort of just woodland. I don't think you can get into that. I did want to try and get onto that side of the triangle, but I couldn't. Right, we're going over the road now. Have a look. You can just see, see, there's the road bridge. Oh, not easy, that easy to see because there's all the Buddleyers in the way, but here is where the junction would have been. So if they hadn't taken that side of the triangle out, I probably wouldn't have made this video, but trains could have bypassed Virginia Water and the replacement buses would have probably continued to Ascot and people would have caught their trains there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. It's Easter Sunday, by the way, hence the engineering work. So happy Easter to everyone watching. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy your Easter. Goodbye.